Hi guys, it's Romina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 183 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, as we get into it, let's just dive right in. So they're looking for the probability density function of T. So we can first find the CDF of T, which is defined as probability that some t, big T is less than or equal to a little t. And because we know T by definition is this here, we can just plug that in. Probability that x squared is less than or equal to t. So then this will be also equal to, I can take the square root of x, so x becomes less than or equal to plus or minus square root of t. This is actually also equal to the probability, I can split the negative side, root t square root, um, less than or equal to x, and, and it's bounded by the root, root t. Okay, okay. So this is actually just the x function, which we know f of x right here. So we can actually put it in terms of that. But because we um, at 0 there's a discontinuity, we have to split it into 2. So this is equal to from negative root t to 0, negative root t to 0, the negative side has this function, 2e to the 4x dx. And the positive side has this function here, 0 to root t, e to the negative 2x dx. OK, so the antiderivative is going to be 2e to the 4x divide by 4, integrating from negative root t to 0. And this side right here is going to be negative 1 half e to the negative 2x, evaluating from 0 to root t. So this one upper limit here is going to give you 1 half e to the 0 power, which is just 1, minus 1 half e to the 4 negative root t, plus right here the upper limit is going to give you negative 1 half e to the negative 2 root t, minus 2 negatives make a positive, um, 1 half to the 0, which is just 1, so that's 1 half. CDF is equal to, but what we need is the PDF, the probability distribution function, which we know is just the derivative of f. So we just take the derivative, any constant taking the derivative is just going to be 0. This one right here, think of this as e to the negative 4 to the t to the 1 half. So when you take derivative, this part stays the same, e to the negative 4 root t. But then you have to take the chain of this, so that becomes t to the 1 half, then 1 half goes to the bottom um, front, t to the negative 1 half. So then this is technically just negative 2, negative 2 t to the negative 1 half, right? The 2 negative, two negative makes a positive, so positive 2 t to the negative 1 half, plus or minus 1 half, same idea here, e to the negative 2 to the root t, you can think of it as negative 2 t to the 1 half, so then this is, when you take the derivative, it, it becomes negative 2 over 2 t to the negative 1 half times, so two negatives make a positive here, t to the negative 1 half, e to the negative 2 root t. The 2's cancel out here, so this becomes e to the negative 4 root t over t to the negative 1 half, so I can send that here, root t, plus 1 half, t to the 1 half here as well, e to the negative 2 root t, which is our answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!